Welcome to Faith in Jesus Ministries. My name is Mike Barclay, the Preacher Man. Praise God. Thank y'all for joining me on YouTube and Facebook. Y'all will be blessed with this message straight from God. I feel the Lord in this place. I feel some praise in this place. Praise the Lord. He's been good to Brother Mike. Bought Brother Mike a jet plane. I'm leaving on a jet plane to meet Jesus in the air. I'm sorry, the Holy Spirit gets hold of me sometimes. Hey, come on, Jesus. Tell him, yes, Lord. Say yes. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, come on, come on. Give it to him. You, you, you there in the back. Give it to him in Jesus' name. Give him the praise. He's worthy of the praise. And clap your hands and tell him yes. Shake your neighbor. Shake him like he got the Holy Ghost. My mind says yes. I will say yes. All of me says yes, Lord. Lord. Say yeah. Say yes, Lord. He does all things well. When he woke you up this morning, it was well. When he put some grits and bacon in you this morning, some coffee and some bacon and eggs, it was well. When he put five dollars of gas in your car and you got all week to drive on that five dollars, it was well. Listen, it's Sunday night. You know you're supposed to have church on Sunday night. Some brother Mike nerves is bad. His patience is short. The elders and preachers and important people on the front row sit on the front if you ain't got no praise. I don't care how important you think you are. If you can't sit in the front, you ain't nothing. To the house of the Lord. Clap your hands and say, yes, God. Thank you for my job. Thank you for my bank account. Thank you for my big house, for my car, for my jet, for my bike, for my Corvette, for my Lamborghini, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You've been good to me, Lord. Too good to me, Lord. We need you. We need you this morning. We need you tonight, God. Shandaba. Shandaba Lihoya. Tell him I need you. I need you like my body needs blood, like the morning needs the sun, the desert needs the rain. I need you. Come on, Jesus. Come into my heart tonight. Come into faith in Jesus ministry's heart tonight. In Jesus' name. Come in my soul tonight. In my wheels tonight. Hey, yes. Before you sit down tonight, just grab seven people and tell them I'm excited about your future. Oh, dealing with people's character. You can't preach that. you got to teach that. Mike's got to teach you how not to be nasty. Teach you how not to say you got the Holy Ghost when you do. Send folk out. You speak in tongues and won't talk to me. You've got to form a godly this. A Rolls Royce body, but a lawnmower engine. Your heart got to be right. This is the 26th chapter. I'm going to teach you for a minute. Brother Mike wants to teach you for a minute. Then we'll shout. Determine, and I believe with a shadow of a doubt, that God don't want you broke. See, some of y'all been broke so long, y'all can't receive that. I want to break that spirit, that spirit of maintaining, that spirit that helps you maintain so well. You have no expectations for more. Learn how to maintain struggle. You learn how to maintain suffering. Look at somebody and say, something's got change. Be you sitting by a Presbyterian, find somebody with the Holy Ghost. That power when you tell them something got to change. Devil, something got to change going to change before this year is out. I don't need everybody to believe, but I need somebody to believe with me that God wants you in a better place than where you at. Y'all, Brother Mike's so blessed right now, he don't know what to do with himself. Serious. I just got $100,000 in the bank. Don't feel bad about it neither. Don't ever judge me. Don't judge a man's harvest unless you know his seed. Get somebody and say, something about to change for you. Believe that? Because if you did, you would release the praise after you heard that. Don't be careful. You can repeat stuff out of religion. That's why you white people ain't getting no results. Because you just have a church. Come on, let's have some church on this Sunday night. I bet you're tired of having church with no results. Ms. 4.17 said God was quickened to the dead. Those things that be not as they were. That's why I kept believing for $100,000 until $100,000 showed up in my bank account. You say into this mountain, be thy removed, be thy cast into the sea. If you have the faith of a mustard seed, it will be done. And it was done for Brother Mike. $100,000 in Brother Mike's account in Jesus' name from a rich sheik. Thank you, Jesus. I know I'm special. I know you love me. Whatever you have in your heart will come to pass. Whatever you say will come to pass. you got power in your mouth. They ain't going to see it till you say it. Jesus. Let the weak say, I am strong. In the Lord. The poor say, I am strong in the Lord. Look at somebody and say, say it. 
do you see it? Wrong neighbor. Turn to your neighbor, got the Holy Spirit. Say, say it, do you see it? One more person. Say it, say it, say it. Do you see it, see it, see it? Tell somebody next to you that everything about you is getting ready to change. This is 26. There was a famine in the land. Side the first famine. In the days of Abraham and Isaac, said, I will bless you to the end of thy seed. I will perform the oath I swore to your daddy. I'm going to make sure your seed multiply, and I'm going to do it because your daddy first obeyed Kept my charge, my commandments, and my statute. He sowed in that land, and the Lord blessed him a hundredfold. That man waxed great and went forward and became very great. Cattle and gold and silver and man slaves and woman slaves, great number of servants. The Philistines envied him. The Philistines envied him can't handle jealousy. You can't handle what God's about to do in your life. God, Father, I need you. I need you more than I ever needed you before in my life. Lord, Brother Mike is nothing without you. The preacher, you're the healer. You're the savior. You're the redeemer. The perfect sacrifice. Refresh me with your glory. Me and I will pray. Somebody's life will change. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If three people run around you and ask him if you can handle what's about to come. The devil's about to throw the kitchen sink at you, Brother Mike. Seated in the presence of the Lord. Beseech you, Lord. The word of God to offer your body as a living presence and offer the, to the Lord. Be not conform to this world. Be transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit. After I receive Jesus, it must be a change in the way I think. If I change my mind, I'll be saved, but I'm still cussing. My mind got to be renewed. How am I going to renew my mind? The word is truth. The man, a young man shall cleanse his way. Be there too, the word of God. You change your mind or sanctify your mind with the word of God. You watch a bunch of fear and produce faith. You can't watch a bunch of porno and produce faith. You can't listen to a lot of perversion and think you're going to produce love. If you do wrong nowadays, they're going to catch you. Believe me, they're going to catch you. Watch CSI. If you're thinking about doing something wrong, just forget it. Because they're going to get you. You're going to be in jail. He said, I'm going to start flying coach. Then after flying coach, then I got to sit in first class. Boy, I thought first class was cool. Then I got my own jet. That was really cool. Uh, they serve shrimp and margaritas and Bloody Marys on my plane. Isn't that cool? You ain't got high unless you got high at 36,000 feet. One time I went with Brother Copeland on a flight. And we smoked a doobie in the air between Montgomery County and Hooks Airport. And we couldn't decide who was going to land the plane. I said, hey, Brother Mike got this. I got this on the ground. And Brother Mike touched down. Couldn't even tell I touched down. It was so smooth. Only thing is when we was talking about smoking that joint, I had my finger on the radio button. So guess what? The FAA knew that Brother Mike and Kenneth Copeland smoked a joint with Jesse Duplantis. <laughs> May ask Mike, to, Brother Mike, to go overseas. I said yes, first class. I fly first class. I eat every meal they got. They had a little bell there, and I just kept them running with that bell. Steak and lobster. Saying any extra food left over, I take that. It's comfortable there in first class. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. It was great. First class was great. Till Brother Mike got around people that had their own plane to testify that God gave me my own plane. But you've got to change who you hang around. Don't dislike me. Get like me. Don't be hating on Brother Mike. Don't do that. Don't do that. Prophesy that the anointing of increase that's on me is in you. It's about to hit your life. It's about to hit your bank account. It's about to hit your PayPal. It's about to hit your credit cards. It's about to hit your bank account. It's about to blow your mind. You believe it? Jump on your chair and say, glory. Damn, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Y'all in a rush? Say, glory to God. Hallelujah. Ha ha. I say, glory to God. Say, glory to God. My God, I feel this preaching thing coming on me. I say, glory to God. The anointing for increase just hit me. You just need to hit Brother Mike up because he's got the anointing. Of increase on him. You better shout. What you looking crazy for in here? You, but if I was you, I would be shouting. This just hit my bank account in Jesus' name. Hundred thousand dollars. You see a train moving, you better learn how to jump on the train. Noah started drinking one day and got drunk. He had three sons. And two of the sons were smart, and one of them was dumb. Sham and Japheth covered their daddy. 
man of God never exposed it. Of an hour now where people don't respect preachers. Reality shows are messing up the reputation of the preachers. See, it ain't about you. No, I ain't a man just like you. I'm God's man. Brother Mike's God's man. Brother Mike is God's mouthpiece. Maybe you can talk about anybody, but you ain't gonna talk about my pastor. My man of God. I don't care what you heard. I don't care what you say. He been a blessing to me. He been a blessing to faith in Jesus ministry. Doing work all over the world. Everybody gets a business who can't keep a business. They get money and they can't keep money. I've been sent by the Holy Ghost to drive every devil out of your bloodline. Clear the devil got to let you go. Sin travels in the bloodline. It'll get you now, it'll get you later. Genesis chapter 12, he says, In you I will be very pleased. Spread your seed like the stars in the sky. Look at the sands of the seed. That's how many seed that you will produce. I make a covenant with the earth. And I, God, can present our covenant. I gave man dominion over the earth. 126 says, let them have dominion. Because God gives us dominion, God can't do nothing on earth without man. He needs a vessel. He needs somebody, somebody's mouthpiece to avail themselves. got ready to send destruction on Sodom and Gomorrah. He says, find me somebody righteous. I gave man dominion. That's why when Jacob went against the angels, he prevailed. In Isaiah, it says one angel killed 185,000 men. Jacob was able to prevail over an angel because he fought the angel out of his jurisdiction. Angel's jurisdiction is heavenly. And jurisdiction is the earth. That's why you'll stop looking for somebody to tell you something and you'll call those things as they were, as they should be. Those things that be not as was so they were. Take your neighbor's hand, shake it like you're trying to shake it off. And say, do you know who you're sitting next to? Next to somebody that when I speak, things begin to happen. Things begin to change. Stronghold in my family. Devil's going to let my family go. Oh, I spoke that curse over Cain and God honored it. But God told Abraham, through you, everybody going to be blessed. It's a child that's been cursed. And the name of the child that's been cursed is Canaan. He brought the curse on Canaan. Ham. I'm going to use you to bless everybody. I'm going to change your name from Abram to Abraham. Slap your neighbor and tell him the devil can't leave you out of this one. God has it. It's yours and you about to walk in it. Still with me. Say I'm with you. Every real woman ought to want a man. Jesus said I better tell the president you better get a hold of God. I don't care if Brother Mike's name is never in light. Just as long as my name is in the Lamb's Book of Life. Whenever God asks you for a seed, he's got a harvest on his mind. Isaac sowed seed in the time of a famine. He received a hundredfold and he was so blessed, people began to get jealous of him. Feel God. Go to touch somebody's heart on YouTube and Facebook tonight. Feel God about to turn some lives around. Feel God about to manifest. Every promise that he spoke over your life is about to overflow me. God's about to surprise Brother Mike. Isaac reaped a harvest. 30, 60, 100 fold and a thousand times return. So everybody got jealous. So God's willing to bless you. Get ready to get the kitchen sink from the devil. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at Brother Mike because Brother Mike is preaching the word in Jesus' name. But Jesus' name got all the power. He got all the power and all the glory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you for that Holy Spirit-filled message in Jesus' name. If you'd like to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, say this simple prayer with me. Jesus, I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. If you said that simple prayer with us, we like to believe you got saved. Get into a good Bible preaching church. Put God first place. He'll take you places you never dreamed. Stay tuned for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and show you his kindness, his love, and his mercy. May he crown your head with the crown of favor. May he open the windows of heaven and pour blessings upon your life you have no room to receive. I call that the open window of heaven blessing policy. So we ask you to get the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we thank you for supporting your faithful financial support of Faith in Jesus Ministries. We preach the gospel to the ends of the world. We're evangelists. We have hearts of gold. We just want to get souls into heaven in Jesus' name. So we figured out YouTube. It takes about a dollar per viewer to get people saved. So if you'll send me $10, I'll get 10 people saved. If you send me $20, I'll get 20 people saved. 
If you send me a thousand dollars, I'll get thousand people saved, and you'll have treasures and mansion and riches in heaven in Jesus' name. So for your February partnership of any dollar amount, we'll send you the CD of the month. It's all my sermons on a CD that you can share and like with others. And be just sure to share and like my videos and subscribe to my channel. So people don't go to hell because they sin. They go to hell because they don't know the name of Jesus. So you Muslims out there, you need to know the name of Jesus. That's the key to heaven. That's it in a nutshell. So we bless the gift and we bless the giver. 30, 60, 100 fold and a thousand times return for blessing faith in Jesus with seed money. In Jesus name. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Heavenly blessings in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Use closed caption to get that secret message out of tongues. The perfect language. I just prayed the perfect prayer for your heart's desires in Jesus' name. And Brother Mike desires $100,000, Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For your tithes, your gifts, and your offerings, Lord. Thank you for your offerings, Lord. So we bless the gift and bless the giver. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you would get the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus and be blessed. Thank you, Lord, for that message.